multiple servitors. What's going on, PS Nation? AB Dave here, bringing you another episode of Dave's Destiny Tips. A little tired today, so we'll see how this goes. Not feeling too hot. All right, so this week it is why you should play the game weekly. We've gone over some of the stuff about playing daily and doing bounties and stuff like that, but. As you progress higher in your level, uh, getting to about level 27, you're eligible for the Nightfall. Um, Freaking shots followed me into the room. With the Nightfall, uh, I think you have to be like a level 27, and you have a chance to um, be able to uh, earn exotics or a random drop of X amount of materials. Uh, there's legendary engrams, there's an exotic, um, there's chances for shards and energy and strange coins. Um, it's all 100% RNG. So it is, there's nothing you can really do about it. I've gotten things from Surlos Regimes to uh, No Land Beyonds to uh, Ascendant Energy, Ascendant Shards, and even like 11 or 12 strange coins. So, uh, it, uh, and I've gotten really good weapons as well out of it, just legendary weapons or legendary engrams. So it is definitely something that is worth your time. Uh, it is something that I feel that you can be frustrated by, but, you know, frustrated by the rewards, but I still think it is worth your time to take the chance because you're going to, you could get legendary engrams doing strikes, but this is a guarantee of one of these like six or eight things. So, um... With the weekly heroics, the weekly heroics are the same strike as the weekly nightfall. Uh, so whether it's Devil's Lair or Archon Priest or whatever, um, there you can. There's three different levels. There's like a 23, a 26, and a 30. Um, if you are a high enough level to do the highest one you can, you'll get three sets of strange coins for each level you boost up. So if you're doing the level 23, you'll get three strange coins. If you're doing the mid-level, you'll get six strange coins. And if you're doing the hardest level, you'll get nine strange coins. So uh, in, in essence of time, if you're high enough level, I would say just do the hardest one that you can, and then you'll get the most strange coins that way. So um, if you have multiple characters, you can do it multiple times on the characters. Depending how many characters you have, you can get a maximum of 27 strange coins a week. So that's all stuff that you can buy from Xur, who sells complete garbage lately. But we'll see how that goes in the future. Um, these woods have void mod- or um, I'm sorry, void. This one that you're looking at has void modifiers on it. So you're seeing me right now run with Hunger of Crota. Um, and the truth is that you see there. Um, and then I believe I also have Praetith Revenge equipped or... Um, I think it is Praetis Revenge as a sniper rifle because it's the only thing. Yep, Praetis Revenge. So, um, Void gives you an, an extra boost to the damage. Um, each week it will have different things, different modifiers on it. Sometimes it's all three birds. Sometimes it's just one, Solar or Arc. Uh, juggler is seems to be on a lot. Juggler is ammo not dropping for the weapons you use to kill. So it encourages you to switch weapons. For the chance at a higher rate of getting the other ammunition you need so if you're somebody that really loves your primary you need to get some kills with your secondary to get primary weapon to drop and vice versa um, and then like light switch can be on which can be uh, which is uh, melee attacks when they hit you with a one hit kill and if you you know or borderline one hit kill if you do excuse me oh sorry if you do, um, you know, have a damage modifier on, whether it's Void, Solar, or Arc, that helps you, but it also helps the enemy. So if you run into an enemy that shoots Void and Void modifier is on, it will do some extensive damage to you. Um, and, you know, same thing for Arc or Solar. So sometimes those ones that have all three are good uh, for you, because you can pick whatever weapon that you want and be able to do some extra damage, but it also means that pretty much everything that's being fired at you is going to do some serious damage to you. So, uh, we just want to make sure that you guys are aware of that. Um, there, the Nightfall is very difficult. It is the highest level. It is the high, you know, other than the raids, it's the highest thing that you can do. And, uh, therefore... <sighs> Oh, crap, sorry. I do these in one take, so I'm not going to redo this just because I yawn. Um, 
the highest level that you can do so that you know gets you the highest rewards and it is the most difficult if your team dies during the nightfall anywhere in the strike you go back to the beginning you go back to orbit and start over so i recommend taking a warlock with you that has uh, the sunsinger class for radiance to self the fireborn um so that if something ho like holy crap happens that you can uh you know, he can revive and he can pick you guys back up and go. Um, and I do not recommend soloing anything. There's been a couple comments on some of my other videos and stuff like that. Like, in terms of solo play, like I would say, like, play some of your bounties or maybe a couple of the basic missions, like, by yourself. But I do not, repeat, do not recommend playing Nightfalls or Weeklies solo. You're asking for punishment. I understand that you think that you maybe will get a better chance at RNG, but for those of you that do not know, RNG stands for Random Number Generator. So everything is random. You don't have a higher roll rate for doing something by yourself than you do with doing it with one other person or even two other people. So do not bang your head against the wall. Find some friends, join, you know, get on our forums, ask for help. You know, I'll help you if I'm all, if I'm home and available. I do not want you guys to do this by yourself. Okay, same thing for the weekly. If you get the right team and you get some right friends together, I get up on a Tuesday morning on days that I don't have to work. Me and Johnny as a boy and somebody else. You know, usually depending on whoever's online that day. You know, we'll go through and we'll get the the nightfall done on my you know two of my characters and we'll get the weekly done on two of my characters. And I get up at like eight or eight thirty in the morning. Sorry, all this talking is uh, apparently depriving my oxygen level. We'll get up at like 8 or 8.30 in the morning, and uh, we will, you know, be done by like 10. So, I mean, you know, like, it's nice, you know, like 10 o'clock in the morning, you know, or and if there's enough of us online, we'll run the raid, and, you know, running Crota right now on normal. Um, you know, I'll be done with a lot of stuff by before I have to go to work, and I have to go to work at like noon. So... I mean, yeah, there'll be a couple little things in here or there that I need to do. Or if I get a cool new weapon on the Nightfall or, or you know, something, something exotic like that I want to level up, like, that's fun. And I'll come back the next day and do my bounties and stuff like that. But you can do a lot of damage with this game just in a couple of hours on reset days. So um, the Nightfall and the Weekly are ways for you to get Glimmer as well. Um, so, you know, like, they're a high enough level that you'll start getting 25 Glimmer here and 15 Glimmer there and, you know, using your... Uh, you know, using your ether seeds or you know your consumable items that bring you the that draw the extra glimmer out of uh, um, out of the particular enemy on whatever planet that you're on. Um, this particular one, the Nexus Strike, as you're seeing us go through it right now, um, we're just progressing our way through it, and you'll see the tactic that we use. Um, I can't remember if we fall down in this video or not. Um, don't fall, John. Yeah, no, I guess we don't. I don't think we fall in this one. So, um, this is the tactic that we use to fight the Nexus. Um, you'll see as we go through this wave of enemies. Um, so, I have a, f a thread on the forums for D Dave's Destiny Tips. Um, I, I definitely want to, uh, you know, hear your thoughts on that. If you haven't joined the forum yet, please, please join the forum. You're going to see a lot of pushing, you know, towards the forums. It helps PS Nation. Um, it's a cleaner look. Stuff doesn't get buried as quickly as it does in the Facebook groups. Um, yeah, I have my own thread in there for this, so if you have a comment or you want to see one of the episodes, um, I'll have it on there. I'll have the links to the to the website on there, and let me know. Like, let me know what you want. Let me know if you need help. Got I've got a couple lists on there of things that you know we're gonna work on, and that I'm hoping to work on. Um, videos are coming a little bit more difficult because some of the core stuff that was always on my mind or questions that I always asked, I've kind of come across. Um, I'm in the process of working on a why raid weekly video. So uh, it is important for you to go into the raid weekly, and I will elaborate on that in a future video. And uh, I will start breaking down weapons, weapons soon, and their perks, or whether they're raid weapons or exotic weapons. Um, you know, we, I already did a little bit of a weapon breakdown of some of the stuff that the, the Crucible and the, you know, the Vanguard Quartermasters and things like that sell. So I'm not really going to go into in depth with that. But, uh, you know, a lot of questions about raid weapons, a lot of questions about exotics, um, and, uh, you know, what they're, what they're good for, and, and mixing things together. Um, I have to do a little more research on Titans and Hunters, um, 
to be able to tell you like what good things are to, to match up with each other. Um, like I know in particular like Obsidian Mind um, Warlock Helmet with um, uh, Bad Juju, especially when the Pulse Rifles get buffed, um, will be something that will uh, I think will help you guys out tremendously if you're a Warlock and you can get your hands on Obsidian Mind and run a Void Walker. Um, you can have super for days. So, um, that's just an example, and I will, uh, let you guys watch us, uh, kill the Nexus, and I'll come at you with another video next week. Follow at PS Nation. If you like the video on YouTube, like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, join our forums, you know, follow me on Twitter, at D underscore Hunt, um, you'll see me, you know, just do some basic stuff, I don't have a ridiculous Twitter feed or anything like that, I like to have a little bit of fun, but, uh, you know, let me know. You know, I would love the support from you guys and love to hear what you guys want, what else you guys want to see. So, appreciate you watching. Enjoy the watching the end of the boss fight here, and everybody have a great day. You just get those, get that vex nexus or whatever. Ah, he teleported. Down. Sorry. The Nexus. It's opening. Down. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Down. All right, I'm out of heavy now. Dead. Grenade down. 
great work. One, two,